it's time, finally, for the fifth bottle of the Cedaridge Malta Dry. Welcome to Kilco. My name is Brian. I'm trying different introductions today. Is it working? No. Oh. All right. If you're here and you've watched any of my other videos, you know what I do. So let's begin, shall we? This is the part everyone enjoys the best. This is where I fiddle with the stupid thing at the top. Ah. Easy. This is not the easy part with these tiny ones. Oh, God. Done. Oh. Huh. First, I want to say that this is at 43% alcohol. All the other ones were 40%, so I'm hopeful this one will be a little more enjoyable for my own palate. Color first. Looks lovely. It's probably the one that's the darkest out of all of them, I think. Maybe. I haven't compared them all. But all in all, I like the color of this one just fine. It's that nice, uh, between, you know, orange and yellow, kind of sunset looking. Very nice. It's very nice. Time for the nose. Ooh. I got a black licorice note, which is something I don't normally get. A little bit of spice. What spice, I'm not sure. I want to say clove. So this is definitely, definitely rye-ish. <laughs> now I've gotten curious about mash bills lately, so I looked this one up and it is 51% malted rye, 34% rye, 12% corn, and 3% malted barley. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can get anything else out of this. The black licorice one is something new to me. And maybe a touch of mint. I don't know. We're going on smell here and it's a bit weird. Anyway, I don't want to make these too long. So next part is... Now we drink... Mm-hmm. Ooh. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if it's the time of day or the fact that that was a quick swig, but I didn't really get much. A little bit of tingle on the tongue. That's it. What I'm worrying about now is this is going to be similar to the bourbon, where the smell is kind of nice, but I'm not getting a lot of the taste. I like how it feels. But as far as flavors, I'm not able to get a lot. And that's probably on me, let's be clear. I'm the one with the, the problems with uh, sensory stuff occasionally. And it looks like we're having one of those days. So lucky me. It's a little sweet. Not very spiky. It's actually very easy to drink. As far as flavor, I'm just missing everything right now. Which is upsetting, as always. Um, I can smell it just fine. But, as far as the taste, not a lot. Alright, I'm going to give it one more chance by just putting it in my tongue and holding it there. Nope. I feel like this is on me today. I'm not getting as much flavor as I usually do. It might be because I'm filming during the daytime. It might be because I had coffee earlier. I don't know what it is, but as far as giving any kind of notes, I can say it's a little peppery. Uh, it's causing my tongue to, you know, feel spiky, which is why I say peppery. It's definitely sweet, but it's not crazy sweet. It's not like bourbon sweet. It's something else. It's not candy sweet. What am I thinking of when I drink this? This is being incredibly difficult. The last one would do something like this to me, wouldn't it? Maybe a little citrus of some sort? All in all, I can't figure this one out for the life of me, and I have a feeling it's me. <laughs> so, to be clear, this is why I use the whiskey app that I have linked down below, and we'll be looking at those tasting notes 
So by looking at them and reading them, I might get a better drinking experience. Shall we? Community notes for the nose profile. Rye, licorice, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, herbal, nutty, vanilla, toast, orange, smoky, and toffee. Hmm. I did say licorice, so I'm glad I got something in there. And I might have said citrus? I don't remember. Sometimes that's one. And I did get some kind of... Uh, I don't know if it was cinnamon. I think I said something else, like clove. But I was getting something else. So, we're in the area. Flavor is what I'm interested in. Rye as a flavor is usually something I can pick out pretty well, but I'm not getting it. But it's the flavor profile for the community is rye, herbal, vanilla, brown sugar, cinnamon, pepper, toffee, old wood, and star anise. Star anise is another one I don't have experience with, but it might just be clove kind of thing, or pepper kind of thing, or spicy kind of thing. You know, I've never just taken one and bit down on it, so... If I ever had something like that, it was in, like, a mulled wine. And that would completely change the whole experience, I think. As for the finish... Community finish is rye, spicy, sweet, mint. I don't know if I said mint, I forget. Fir trees, herbal, sandalwood, barley sugar, and lawn clippings. For me, it just kind of was tingly, and I think it dried out my tongue a little bit. <laughs> I like the official notes here. The official tasting notes, toast and biscuits. That's what it says. You can check for yourself. Link down below. Anyway, all in all, although this isn't the best review I've ever done on any whiskey, and although this is the fifth one and I wanted it to be good, I'm not functioning quite like I should today, and I can't pretend I didn't try it on this day at this time. So, I think I like it, but let's be sure. Maybe it's just that it's a high rye, and I don't always get the same kind of results from high rye. But just at this moment, right now, while I'm trying to do this video, of course, I'm not getting loud out of it, but I do enjoy it. It's not its not a dislike. It's not like a, it's not giving me weird smells. It's not offending me in any way. The proof is a little higher, which I appreciate. And as much as I wanted this to be like the fantastic rye that I could definitely get, again, um, it's something I will enjoy drinking more than the other ones, I think, other than the weeded one. But for whatever it is, and I'm, it's not working for me today, and I think that's my bad. And, uh, as with many of my videos, I don't want to pretend that I changed anything and I don't want to lie. So, as uninteresting as this one was, at least, I'm being as brutally honest as I can. And keep in mind, I do have mental issues that sometimes mess with my senses. All of them. My perceptions are a bit weird, we'll say. But uh, I guess my nose is working okay today, but my taste buds are refusing to function as I usually have them. But until next time, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. Sancha. Thank you for joining me on Kilco. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.